Hello friends, I am Lalit Vasist and I welcome you all on my YouTube channel Engineering Made Easy. Friends, in today's vector calculus problems, we will discuss a problem on directional derivatives. In the last video lecture, we have seen what is a del operator and how to find the gradient of a scalar function. We also learned that uh, gradient of a scalar function is a vector normal to that surface okay but in this video we will learn what is directional derivative so let's see our today's problem it is find the directional derivative of the scalar point function phi this is the scalar point function phi which is given as 3 e to the power 2x minus y plus z at the point a which is 1, its coordinates are 1, 1 and minus 1, x, y, z coordinates, okay, in the direction towards the point B, minus 3, 5, 6. So, what we need to find here is, we are given a, a scalar point function denoted by phi and I want to find the directional derivative of this scalar function at point A in direction of in the direction towards point B that is it should be along a B vector okay we will find here the a B vector as uh, we already know that if we find the gradient of this uh, scalar field then we will get a vector along the normal to this field but here we do not uh, want to find the normal vector but we want to find a vector which is in the direction towards this a b vector at point b towards point b okay so in the direction of a b vector so first of all we will calculate this gradient of uh, this uh, scalar function okay this phi and then we will find the vector a b vector as we are given two points a and b we can uh, easily find a vector a b b minus a by performing the b minus a i will show you how and then we will uh, calculate a unit vector a b vector okay by dividing it by its magnitude and then we will dot product it by the gradient of phi so the directional derivative along certain direction a vector is gradient of phi dot a cap a cap is the unit vector along the a vector unit vector of the a vector okay we can get by dividing this uh, a vector by magnitude of a vector we will get the a cap the unit vector okay so first of all we will find the gradient what is gradient by the definition the gradient is del phi by del x i cap plus del phi by del y j cap plus del phi by del z k cap here i cap j cap and k cap are the unit vectors along the directions x y and z axis okay and these are the partial derivative of scalar function phi with respect to x this is with respect to y and this is partial derivative with respect to z so let's find it out here is the function phi it is a scalar point function so del phi by del x means the differentiate phi with respect to x while treating other variables like uh, here we have y and z other variables y and z as constant okay so how we can differentiate it so differentiation of this phi with respect to x will be so to differentiate this phi uh, we know that uh, let me tell you the differentiation of an uh, exponential function if i have uh, see here if i have a function f of x as e to the power 2x and i want to differentiate this uh, f of x which is a function of x with respect to x then its differentiation will be e to the power 2x into differentiation of this term first we differentiate uh, this term e to the power so its differentiation is e to the power 2x and we differentiate the term which is in power so differentiation of 2x with respect to x is 2 so in this way we differentiate it so now let's uh, see here here we have uh, this phi as e to the power 2x minus y plus z so its differentiation will be e to the power 2x minus y plus z as it is into differentiation of this 2x minus y plus z as it is partial differentiation with respect to x so we will treat y and z as constant so its uh, differentiation with respect to x will be only 2 
okay so we will multiply it by 2 so its differentiation is e to the power 2x minus y plus z into 2 and it is i cap okay now differentiate this is i cap differentiate this 5 with respect to y partially so its differentiation will be 3 we have taken this 3 common for all these 3 derivatives uh, partially with respect to x y and z 3 is common so i have taken it already common so its differentiation partially with respect to y will be e to the power 2x minus y plus z into differentiation of 2x minus y plus z with respect to y treating x and z as constant this is the way how we do the partial derivative so treat x and z as constant so it will be 0 it will be 0 and it will be differentiation of minus y with respect to y will be minus 1 so it is minus okay and in the same way its derivative with respect to uh, z will be e to the power 2x minus y plus z into derivative of this with respect to z so it is 0 it is 0 these are considered constant x and y here since it is derivative with respect to z and its derivative dz by dz will be differentiation of z with respect to z will be 1 so it is into 1 okay it is k cap so this is the uh, del phi we have now the vector del phi and i wanted to calculate this uh, gradient of a phi at point 1 comma 1 comma minus 1 so just put these values in this this is the value of x this is for y and this is for z in this equation you will get this uh, vector 6 i cap minus 3 j cap plus 3 k cap okay now I have this vector this actually this vector is a vector which is normal to this uh, surface gradient of phi means the vector normal to the scalar function this is scalar point function now I want to calculate the directional derivative in the direction of a b vector so first of all I will calculate the unit vector along this a b direction and uh, first I will calculate this AB vector then I will divide it by its magnitude to calculate this uh, AB cap that is the unit vector along AB direction and then I will uh, dot product it with this gradient of phi that I have uh, already mm, got gradient of phi so let's do this since the directional derivative is the component of gradient of phi at the given point in the given direction okay since uh, two points here i have a point and b point okay so a b vector this is a point this is b point a b vector will be this minus this how we find this we subtract this b vector from this a vector the position vector of b is uh, 3 i cap 5 plus 5 j cap plus 6 k cap and its position vector will be uh, i cap plus j cap minus k cap subtract this position vector of a from the position vector of uh, b this is the operation so i got a b vector b vector minus a vector as this okay now i have this a b vector and i want to calculate uh, the unit vector along this a b vector so it is very simple just uh, take this vector and divide it by its magnitude and to find the magnitude of any vector uh, if uh, there is a vector a vector uh, written as uh, axi cap plus ayj cap plus az k cap then its magnitude will be under root of uh, ax square plus ay square plus az square so its magnitude is under root of minus 4 square plus 4 square plus 7 square okay under root of this so this is very simple and this is the a cap this part okay and what is this this is the gradient of phi we have calculated gradient of phi so our formula was gradient of phi dot a b cap okay so it is the dot product we know how to find the dot product just uh, multiply the respective uh, i cap and j cap and k cap i cap will be multiplied by i cap 6 into 4 because uh, we know that uh, by the dot product that uh, if we want to multiply uh, dot product of a vector and b vector then uh, its formula is magnitude of a into magnitude of v b into cos theta as these uh, unit vectors are perpendicular to each other so cos 90 becomes zero i'm just telling you the dot product uh, concept if you know you can skip this so 
so if I multiply this 6 i cap with this 4 minus 4 j cap so I got minus 24 i cap into i cap uh, becomes it is uh, cos 0 so it is uh, 1 but if I multiply this i cap with this j cap or k cap since these are perpendicular i cap j cap and k cap are mutually perpendicular to each other so they cos 90 becomes 0 so we just multiply the respective i cap with i cap j cap with j cap and k cap with k cap so it becomes 24 this 3 j cap minus 3 j cap and 4 j cap becomes 4 into 3 12 minus 12 and 7 into 23 becomes 21 and this is the magnitude parts so just simply multiply these dot product and in the, in the denominator i have under root of 16 plus 16 plus 49 which comes out to be 9 so therefore minus 15 by 9 is our answer as we know that uh, if we dot product uh, two vectors then in the result we get a scalar so it is a scalar minus 15 by 9 so minus 15 by 9 is the directional derivative of uh, this scalar function at point this in the direction towards the point b okay i hope you got this uh, concept of directional derivative and uh, how we can find this directional derivative in vector calculus problems for more such videos on vector calculus and other engineering mathematics problems you can subscribe my channel engineering made easy so that you can get the notification of my videos as uh, whenever i release them so please like and share the video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe it Thank you for watching. Take care. See you soon in the next video. Bye bye. Friends, for more such videos, you can subscribe my channel, Engineering Made Easy. And please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it. For more detailed information, you can visit my blog. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye bye.